Master, and now time for my A Pan to the Game Collection video. So, you probably don't know this, but on Twitter I actually have said that I've sold most of my, you know, old games, so now my game collection has been shortened to what it is now. But I have gotten some new games in the, mean, uh, in the process, so yeah, just sell off old stuff and I would deal with the news, so to say. So, there you go. I don't know if you can hear music, but I'm not playing music downstairs, so. Can't help with that. So anyway, let's just, just get right to it. Okay, so let's start with the let's start with Game Boy Advance. Because yeah, uh, yes, I actually have sold all, all my Pokemon games from the first second generation, so I don't have those anymore. So yeah, to the what? Sixth generation video games, I believe. Yeah. So oh by the way, yeah, this is my uh reverse uh GBSP. Just so you know, it's red. Okay, so yeah, I now have five games for the GBSP. So yeah, here it goes. Let's start from the beginning. Let's see from what I can remember. Warland 4. To be honest, I kind of want to get rid of this too, but I, I think the reason why I didn't is because like, I have no reason to. I don't know, maybe it's because the, no one wants to, wants to buy it or something. I don't know. Next, if I recall, is... Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, still awesome. I still have fond memories of it. I think I said it several times before, so there you go. Uh, by the way, we're kind of the Dream Team. You'll see. Okay, next up, Final Fantasy. I, th I think it's still the only Final Fantasy I currently own. But, uh, yeah. You know, like, like Final Fantasy is the only one I actually still own. This disgrace of a series? <laughs> Oh, uh, Mercury Super Circuit, you're still a disgrace to the whole Mario Kart series. And yes, I do count the, the arcade game, and you're still a disgrace. <laughs> and lastly, it's uh, a game that I have LP in the past that um, I think I said it before uh, that my brother wanted to actually get this game legit, so here it is, Mario Tennis Power Tour. <laughs> so yeah, that's much it for the Game Advance games. If you notice, I did not include Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire because I actually got rid of them. Yes! I got rid of my prize, uh, my, my, my prize Pokemon game, Pokemon Ruby. I'm not kidding. It was worth it, though. But then again, all my, all my Pokemon Ruby and stuff are already on my um, white, on oh, my white and white, too, so. There you go. Next, GameCube! <sighs> my largest game collection, still to date, is GameCube. So. Because, uh, I love the GameCube. And even when it came out, and you know, first thing I got the GameCube is this, which is Mansion. Uh, it's still a fun, fun system. I still love the controller. I've still used it for 13, for almost 13 years. So, yeah, Luigi's Mansion, man. It's short but still fun. At least, um, what got out of Luigi's Mansion out of completing 100% is basically my namesake. So yeah, if yeah. I think I'm told you said that the when 100 percent this game it gives you like a little dem a little not that demo, a little trailer for Pikmin and that gave me my title Pikmin Master. So there you go. I still love Pikmin today. It's so awesome. It's a great, great game. Next up, everyone's favorite game, <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Melee. And that's my favorite game. This is. <laughs> oh man, the two greatest are right here. Mar Melee and Double Dash. Two of the greatest games Nintendo's ever made. Well, granted, this is how last, but still. Yeah, it's, people still love Melee to death. I got, like, brought more because of, of Olimar, pretty much. And Double Dash is still my second favorite, um, Mario Kart DS. So, two great games right here. It's amazing. Now the next three, I don't remember the order of what, which I got it from, so I'll just give in the order of what I think is okay. Kirby Air Ride. Uh, yeah, Kirby Air Ride. Well, one more to say, it's essentially like a simplistic Mario Kart, but with Kirby, only it's weirder controlled. Kirby Air Ride is weird really, really controls, but there's one thing you should know, you know about Kirby Air Ride. Like if you know stuff like uh, Kid Icarus Uprising and Smash Bros. Brawl, the whole how to get the, tr the achievements area, that came from this game. So, still love to death, it's great. I'm not getting rid of this anytime soon. Uh, next up, Power Tennis. 
it's a weird one, but uh, yeah, I heard I played this game uh, some time ago, so you know how I feel about this game. It's really fast paced, but it's still not as like um, genuine as as 64, even though I think I like this one better. Next up, of course, Pikmin 2. Can't have well, you no know, me without Pikmin 2. It's I think I like this more Pikmin 3, to be honest. Uh, yeah, mostly because of its length. It's actually, it, you get to do more stuff with Pikmin 2 than Pikmin 3. Uh, plus, if you're not into micromanaging three people at once with Pikmin 3, it's oh, it's 2. So, yeah. So, but I kind of like Pikmin 2 a bit more. So, it's great. What's this, you may ask? Okay, if you want to know what this is, it's Mega Anniversary Collection. I've already LP to death about this game, so I'll keep this game to death. Uh, if there's a new, if it's gonna be a new Mega Classic game, I will start take it. Will I do an LP of, of my number nine since it's technically Mega Man? No, but if it's like an official Mega Man Eleven, I will do it because of it has to be a complete classic series, so I have to do it. <laughs> But also, if I'm gonna do like, I'm not gonna do like fan made Mega Man games. That's, I'm not gonna do fan made Unlimited. I haven't played that. I'm not gonna play, I'm not gonna bother out being Street Fighter Cross Mega Man or any of that stuff. It's, a, it's, it's, it's unofficial, it's not an actual thing. Okay, and here's the big one. Here is the, like, the, the newest addition to my game collection Bam F Zero GX. I have mentioned this in um, a Brawl video or two before. But man, have I not played that much of it. My brother did. My brother played a lot of this, but I have not. But yeah, that was GX, man. This is a game that I've always, I always wanted to play. Because we both have played F0X X and F, um, F0 for SNES. But mostly F0 is SNES. But then, now that we have this game, so it makes, want, makes you wonder why the heck they didn't make an F0 for Wii. Nintendo, hurry up and make for Wii U. I, like, if you don't know what to do with it, then just do what you normally do with F-Zero. Make it a, make it a usual fast pace, you know, typical F-Zero, but at online. Just like, F-Zero plus online equals game. A game people would want to play. I know you like to innovate things. Sure, I understand, because you're Nintendo, you do that. But come on. Standards. At least leave it for, for, for I don't know, F-Zero UX or something. Oh, I was giving you an, I gave you a name. Just leave it at that. All right, that's it for my uh, uh, sixth generation of video games. So I'm gonna put this over here in the, the pile. Next up, D, next up, DS. Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, game systems ever. The, the DS. So I'm gonna start with the demo. Uh, Metroid Hunter's first hunt. The demo. Yeah, I don't even say much about this. It's freaking demo of Metroid Prime Hunters, which I don't have anymore. You got rid of because I actually don't want to play it. I never want to play a Metroid Prime Hunters because it's a first-person shooter, first of all. The second one, my brother would uh, want to play. So he just, if he doesn't want to play for a while, might as well get rid of it. What else do you need to say, need to say about Mario Kart DS? It's my favorite Mario Kart ever. Uh... Mario Kart is definitely, I've actually told many, many times on Mario Kart DS. Definitely tell them about the course exhibition, tell them even Mario Kart DS Wi-Fi. I, I'm going to say more about this. This is definitely my favorite Mario Kart. And it still is. Twelve. DS owners, get this game. It, it may be Square Enix, but at least it's original. Or original in terms of gameplay. Get this. For emphasis. That's it. <laughs> I got rid of my black, I got rid of my heart gold. I put an RG away, Soul Silver, so. White and white too. These two hold these two hold every single Pokemon I've had since um, Gen 3 as of now. So for Coliseum, XD, uh, Ruby Sapphire, uh uh Brigade, Heart Gold Soul Silver, my black file I don't have any more, I sold that off too. That was also worth it. Also, we also got like the female character in it, the, the the female playable character. Too bad I got rid of that. So, so what, both Y Y two contain my um, the Pokemon I have for all my saves so far, which well, all of them will be um, gone to X. So once Pokemon comes out in whenever this comes, comes out, probably probably by the time this gets um, 
It's because the latest Pokemon be RB I already have the Shiny Charm. Yeah, the Shiny Charm is it's there, so awesome. I get the Shiny Charm, I don't have, have to rely on this with the Shiny Charm. So, there you go, both kids have complete Pokedexes, legit. So, there you go. And no, I never I never use um hacks to get legit these uh, the Pokedex. Okay, that's it for DS. That's it for Wii. I'll be right back. Uh, hold it for a moment. All right. So for Wii, Wii Sports. Let's start with that. I think I, I think I really Wii Sports because I don't need to really. People, I think people still play Wii Sports. Even with Wii Sports Club, I don't really care about it. So Wii Sports. All right. Now I know I got now I know I got these in order. Twilight Princess, a game my brother still sometimes wants to play. Uh, yeah, one of the few Zelda's I still have. And this is my only, like, not my, um, uh, aside from Majora's Mad, my current only Zelda that I currently own. There it is, Twilight Princess. Next up, Brawl and Mario Kart Wii. Again, two of the greatest in, in right here. Mar so, Smash Bros. and Mario Kart. You can't have Nintendo about good Nintendo games with these two. And once the Wii, once the Wii comes out with both these games, uh, Smash 4 and um, Mario Kart 8, it's going to be insane for the next several years. So yeah, don't need to say more. I do, I do all my videos of uh, both of them if you haven't already been noticed. Turn to Dreamland. My brother and I like, got to complete this thing like crazy. It's awesome. But uh, yeah, Turn to Dreamland is fun. I wonder if I can get triple the locks and see if I have more fun. I don't even know. I'm going to the multiple aspects of, um, you know, Return to Dreamland. So I have no idea what else to do. I mean, it's not like I'm going to have any better game like, oh, hello, Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> yeah, this guy, this guy right here. I haven't played much of it. I don't particularly care about it. Why did I bought this? <laughs> I know I'm still early on in Xenoblade Chronicles, but... I don't particularly care about it that much, really. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I don't care about Xenoblade as of now. I have not played that much of it, but what else can you say? Okay. That's that for Wii. Next up, 3DS. Because I know this is me. Because right now I really love it, 3DS. I've been playing that a lot. So, let's start with Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart. <laughs> Yep. It's a way it's gonna be a Smash Brothers for 3DS. I don't know if I wanna get that too, so I can say I have every single like eleven Smash Brothers and uh, Mario Kart together. Heck I have uh, Smash Brothers and Mario Kart for uh, digital. I will show that soon, however my computer's currently rendering something else, so I'll get to that, don't worry about it. So here it is, Mario Kart 7. Okay, Icarus, I still love this dang game, even though it's a third person shooter. I still love this dang game. I still continue to love the, to, to make online videos of this thing. Heck, even more so than the next game, Martez Open. Funny, I bought Martez Open, Noise going to be my least favorite out of all my 3DS games, but I just, you know, because I like Martennis, I might just make online videos of it, so chance shots are broken. But still, back to this, it's a hilarious game. <laughs> Definitely like this over this game, so there you go. All right, next up is, should be, okay, so should be, um, you know, Fire Emblem Awakening, but wait, X already? But I'm pretty sure I, this is in order. What the heck? Wait, where, where did everything go? Anything? I'm pretty sure you don't need me to say anything about this. All right, so that's pretty much it. It's not like I have anything else to uh, on me right now. Wait, 
Animal Crossing? When did I get Animal Crossing? <laughs> uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah. I got it. It's addicting. The, it's funny, the reason why my brother and I did not, never wanted Animal Crossing because we knew it's going to be addicted, but I got this anyway. So, there we go. I'm pretty much buying the Chuck Connery LP and I don't want to play the dang thing, so. Dang it, Chuck Connery, you made me buy a game. Alright, that's it, it's not like I have anything else left. Why? Why? So I got both of them? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I got both of them now. Like, for the longest time, I had X, but now I'm Y also. With one 3DS, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. I mean, like, this is the only 3DS I have. So, uh, so what I did is uh, to get every single Vivalon form from what I had, um, I, get, I took Y here and then just manipulated the GTS so that uh, I can get X. And yes, this is before Pokebank. So, I got, so I got, the, uh, got every single Vivalon form on this. Yes, yes I ha already had the Monsoon form. Even though that's, like, that's the one form I, that, like the one form I can't get. Like, if I were to do it naturally, because it's on regions that an American 3DS can't get to. Like, I cannot um, access India through my uh, 3DS region, say, that can't access Taiwan. So, no, I can't. As for Elegant Form, it's pretty much Japan exclusive. I don't need to worry about it because, not just it's Elegant, they are all over the place on GTS because too many Japanese players. But, side, side the point, the reason I got Y is to get the Mega Stones. That's it. Because uh, there's some Mega Stones I actually want to use, like, Meg, like an Agronite. Uh, like, um, uh, let's see, Agronite, not Houndoom Money, I don't care, uh, I think there's another one, I, uh, Heraconite, I think, but whatever. Mostly just look at the Agronite, <laughs> I don't, I don't know people don't want to trade Megastone, so, I just want to get this to get the Agronite, because I want to use Mega Agron. <laughs> Plus I have spares of, uh, of Megastones. So much, that's pretty much it for the, for 3DS. And now, whoa. My three still was slipped. And now for the Wii U. Uh, currently I have four games on it. So yeah, I have four games. Starting with Nintendo Land, because to be honest, like well, people do come over, do people still want to play Nintendo Land? Uh, MH3U. MH3U is it's an awesome game. It's definitely worth like the wait for some of the bigger games to come out on Wii U. So this has got a good time waster for, for Smash Bros. and for Mario Kart. Or at least until Pikmin. I mean, really. I mean, it's not like that, you know, Monster Hunter is pushed, paving the way to wait for Pikmin. But here it is, Pikmin 3. Uh, it's a funny how like, the purple and the white Pikmin aren't in the story, but they are still in the game. And it's kind of like how, how there are free DLC missions in Pikmin 3. So, there you go. I haven't played every DLC mission yet, but uh, I'll get to it soon. So, Pikmin 3, everyone. This game is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love the graphics of this thing. It's just so cuteness overload this thing is. Wow. It's kind of high for perspective. My hand was much bigger than my head. <laughs> so, all right, so I had, to, I had to go there. And finally, the, the not game of the year. This thing. Funny how I skipped over Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 2. I skipped over most of the uh, new Super Mario Bros. games, but at least in the defense of that, I don't like them. Here it is, Super Mario 3D World. It's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> I, I was like, it's so far from where I am, and um, like, uh, I think I think brother and I watched the World 3, but uh, it's fun. It's like, kind of like it's a big fun game with my bro. So, yeah, that's uh, really fun. All right, so that's what it for my physical copy. So. Uh, once, once this thing finishes rendering stuff, I'm gonna go straight to my di uh, digital releases, so, yeah. Alright, that's it for my digital releases, so, actually, I'm gonna sit here, just so you know. Okay, that's it for the standard stuff, Sweet Pass, uh, eShop, Meme Maker, uh, System Settings, uh, my folder, which is stuff, uh, Pokes 3D, <laughs> uh, Ah, dang, I actually put Face Raiders. Um, time skip! Okay, Face Raiders, uh, AR Games, 
Do your sound, Nintendo Zone, oh, have the safety efficient, download play, DS camera, activity log. Okay. So. So, yeah, you've already seen, uh, Press 3D. No, not Bot Pro because it's stupid. Plus, it's probably gonna be outdated anyway. Four Swords, you know, I don't play it at all. Beam Radar. Because of new necessity to get the bearing forms and stuff. Do you have to Thanks, Noah, by the way. Okay, next up is Shantae, of course. Shantae and Risky's Revenge also. Yeah, both of these are pretty fun platformers, even though, funny enough, I don't really play platformers. It's kind of weird. Okay, next is uh, Lisa Awakening DX, even though my brother's the only one who plays it. I don't really play Lisa Awakening at all. And some demos. Yeah, demo don't you play. Objection! Objection, and this. I'm not sure if I want to, play, like, buy this, buy this, but I don't know. Mostly because I, I only play, like, Superstar Saga. I have really skipped out on the others uh, in the series. Objection! This, I don't know. Like, I have to see the game, but I don't know. I think I want to watch a playthrough of this game than actually buy it. And the game I don't care about. Okay. Uh, yeah. For, um... I guess that's pretty much all I'm going to show because that's pretty much all I have for digital uh, 3DS games. Yes, I don't have that much digital 3DS games. Yes, I could get more, but I don't even know. Alright, now time for uh, Wii and Wii U. Okay, so yeah. Alright, and here are my uh, stuff on my Wii. Well, technically Wii U, unless it's Wii mode. Alright, so yeah, first of all, we got. Yeah, put one rumble. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, but I'm not gonna bother with this, you know, seagulls. Mario Tennis. Majora's Mask. Puzzle League. Smash Brothers. Mario X. Mario Kart 64. So Mario Kart. Mega Man 2. My Brothers 3, Curry's Adventure, and that's it. Okay. Uh, I also have. I don't know if it's on this SD card or not. Mega Man 9, Mega Man 10, Super Street Fighter 2 on Genesis. Because I thought it would be, thought it would be better on the, uh, that than the Super Nintendo. I don't even know. And whatever this is. Okay. Yeah, it's that for um my Wii Digital titles. Now I'm going to the Wii U. Alright, and here are my Wii U titles. Okay, for some reason the uh the thi the I don't know if for some reason this is orange. I don't know why. It's probably because of, I don't know, the thing shut down, let me know. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I have our three world here. Uh, Animal Crossing Plaza, uh, Sonic Lost World. The only real, like, games I have are Earthbound here and My Switch Force. I don't know if I'm going to, um, get My Switch Force 2, but, uh, maybe I will, maybe I will not. But, really, this is all I have, just those two games. It's just demos. And Animal Crossing Plaza. So I don't know, that's pretty much it for um, my uh, game collection. So yeah, that is also yeah. See you later for um, more stuff going on. Later.